This is just a quick video to show you how to fold this flower jump card because it's um, it's the same as normal jump cards but it's just got a little bit more uh, intricacy with the petals. So the first thing you need to make sure is that you've popped the petals out down to this dotted line. So I've done the side one and that one is done and that side is done. You then want, you've got a fold here and you want to fold that as a valley fold. So it looks like that. So when you put it on your side, you'll see it's a valley fold. Now this fold here that runs across the middle, you want to actually turn the other way. So it's a mountain fold. So now we have our card looking like that. So eventually you're going to have this little triangle here, which you are going to glue to this bit. Only the triangle, not these two parts. Now this is the bit where it gets a little bit tricky. So you might want to just be very gentle with this. So you've got to manipulate this fold here which runs from down here to here but it also rolls folds up here as well so if we do that one first we're going to fold it like that and then we're going to do the other one and then we're going to fold the other line exactly the same and this is the bit where it gets a little bit tricky because your um your folds are preventing the other folds from bending so that's basically so now we've got two mountain folds here a valley fold so we've got two mountain folds here a valley fold there a valley fold here and two mountain folds there so then what we're going to do is we're going to push gently on those sides and you might want to do one at a time so I've pushed it gently down to there and folded it and then I'm going to just push gently down and eventually what will happen is that it the folds will sit down and if you've glued that triangle to the base your flower will sit up it will pop up so it's just a question of um, taking these this line here and pushing it gently together and you might find it's easier to do one at a time and then push down and that's how your flower uh, jump flower will look these bits here you need because they support this part here so don't remove these so it's not technically a complete flower but you do need them um, to actually support the rest of the flower and make it jump so you do get the idea that it's a flower because you've got the uh, flower there so hopefully that shows you how to do it